G'day and welcome to Crystal Clear Mathematics where it is easier than you think. I'm Graham Henderson and we're currently uh, well on our way into our subtraction fest, a series of very short videos demonstrating subtraction methods. The one I'm going to demonstrate this time is a variation on the floating point method that I demonstrated in the previous video. And again, I'm, I'm just demonstrating, I'm not going through an explanation that took place in longer videos. But the demonstration is this. We start at this end rather than that end. This is a left to right form of subtraction. And we increase this digit by one so it becomes worth two and subtract it from the three and we get one. So two from three is one. In, this, in essence, we're increasing this number, or we're comparing it 1,259,863 to 2 million. So we subtract 2 million from this number, and we, so 2 million from this number is 1,180,547. And since we've subtracted 2 million, we now have a difference here we've got to find out how much this number is less than 2 million. And the way we do it is we subtract these numbers from 9 and this one from 10. So these ones from 9. 2 from 9 is 7. 5 from 9 is... Dear. Had a mental... Shouldn't think of too many things at once. 9 from 9 is 0. 8 from 9 is 1. And 6 from 9 is 3. And from 10, 3 from 10 is 7. And we've converted this subtraction into an addition. 7 and 7 is 14, 4 and 4 is 8, 5 and 1 is 6, 0 is add up to 0, 8 and 4 is 12. Uh, this is 9 and 1, and there's our answer. The subtraction has taken place. A little unusual. Obviously not a method you would use mentally, but some people like this. Uh, I'll talk more about why it works on another occasion. But I hope you've enjoyed it and have understood enough to try it out on your own. And I thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.